Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Tuesday. <laughs> there I go again. I thought I, I was about to say Monday actually, and yesterday. Oh, really? We're gonna talk about coffee in a minute, people. And I am using my favorite cup that I bought at the Hyatt Regency Lake Tahoe. And they did not ask me to say that. Um, I actually followed them on Twitter because I'm trying to plan a um, some fitfluential retreats that we're doing either the last part of this year or the early part of um, of next year. And, and I really, really want to be back in Lake Tahoe. Lake Tahoe is amazing. And the Hyatt out there has... You guys, honestly, here's the thing. I've traveled for business all over the place. Been to some really nice places, really nice cities. Um, first of all, I've never ever... There's certain places in the country that, that obviously have beautiful scenery, right? Every time I'm in Seattle, I'm wowed by the mountains and the water. It's just amazing. <laughs> Incidentally, everyone talks about Seattle and goes, I don't want to live up the the rain. Um, I kid you not, knock on Formica or whatever my countertop is. Um, every time I've been there, I have not had it raining. Maybe I just bring the sun to it. Also wearing a, I don't know if you can see. <laughs> My boobs up. This is, um, I will put a, the link up, but I'm going to talk about it in a second. This is my Palm Beach Athletic Wear, palmbeachathleticwear.com, one of the tops they sent me, but I'm going to give you a little preview of that in a second. Gosh, so, so much to talk about. Wow, I'm sore from my workout. We did, um, I did my workout on Sunday, and she hadn't had um, chest flies in some of the last ones, and I went heavy heavier than what she suggested. I think I was using like my 15s or 10, my 15s or 12s for chest flies and wow, whew, I can feel it. Anyway, I digress as usual. So I've been to a lot of places all over the country. Seattle's beautiful, Phoenix, especially, let's see, I hope I'm saying this correctly. Is it in between Phoenix and Vegas? There's, let's see, if you drive into, if you fly into, this, I'm trying to think. Oh, there's that cute. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Out on my deck. Okay, I know I'm all over the place. There are these chipmunks that live in certain areas and they, it must be that when they live in areas that are um, like, obviously I live by wetlands, right? I saw these, this, I'm almost, saying, I'm almost about to say brand, this brand of chipmunks. It's a different kind of chipmunk. Most of us are used to seeing the kind where their ears stick up. These are chipmunks where their ears lay flat back and they, they just have a different look to them. Like when you see them, you know it's a chipmunk, it's the same little size, but they just look totally different. And it's funny because I remember when I lived at my, like back before I got married, um, I lived, oh God, every time I say that, I get like phlegm in my throat. <clears throat> but I lived in um, Crystal Lake and I remember I would see those and I would tell my boyfriend at the time, who sadly became my future ex-husband, um, you know, I'm like, they have these different, these different kinds of chipmunks, they're different, you know, their ears lay back. And he was like, I don't think so. And I, then he finally saw it and he was like, oh, you're right. Um, I usually am. Um, so anyway, but I just saw him, he, would, he just came up on my porch while we're talking. I'm eating my messy, disgusting looking breakfast. which is my organic eggs. I usually do two or three. Um, I add egg whites in to make this fluffy little pancake thing. And then I put about a tablespoon, I don't even think I do two tablespoons, I usually measure it, of hummus on the top. This is the new hummus that I bought at Walmart, by the way. Um, I'm starting to pay a lot more attention to what I'm spending because I waste a lot of food. Incidentally, I'm going on a trip tomorrow and I have a huge bowl of produce that I have to give to my sister because typical me, I would be throwing it away. I'm also giving her salmon and a bunch of stuff that I thought and like I, I'm so awful about planning ahead and planning. But anyway, this was this brand of hummus they had at Walmart and I gotta tell you guys, if you look at the container, I normally get my hummus at Trader Joe's which is $2.99 for a container. But the container at Trader Joe's is, has like, how many ounces is this? 
This is like 14 ounces. I think the, con the container at Trader Joe's is like 10 or maybe eight. So this has that many more ounces for the same price. See how frugal I am? I did figure that out on my own. Okay, so back to Lake Tahoe and the Hyatt at Lake Tahoe. Um, so, I just heard a child. It's okay, it's okay. I thought I was back at my own place for a minute. Can you hear that? Okay, okay, my neighbors have visitors, so that's fine. It's temporary. Oh no, it's somebody actually like going for a walk right now, so. But either way, it's like temporary, so it's fine. Um, she's, I'm sure at this moment, <laughs> going, kids, get closer to mommy. <laughs> anyway, um, so Phoenix, um, down by St. George, um, in between, I, I don't really know. I have no idea if, if I'm trying to think about where on a map Phoenix is. I think Phoenix is here, Nevada's here, no idea. All I know is that at one time I had to fly in to, I think, Vegas and then drive to St. George, Utah, if I'm correct. And then I took a plane from St. George up to Salt Lake City, which was a mistake. Everybody's like, why aren't you driving? And I'm like, why wouldn't I fly? It's faster. I learned why you don't fly from down south in Utah to up north in Utah, because your plane is like this. I really thought I was going to see Jesus that day. So um, anyway, that's a beautiful part of the country. I was on that drive and, and those mountains, you're just, you're driving through this area that just takes your breath away. But love that area, love Seattle, I love San Francisco. Um, but when I went to Tahoe, so you fly into Reno, Nevada, and then you drive, and it was deathly scary, but it was also just amazing because you're driving up this mountain, kind of going around and around, am I making you dizzy yet? And then if I'm correct, you get to the top and then you're like, you know, you're driving down into the valley. Now the day that I drove into Tahoe, this was for a um, uh, business conference, um, about a year and a half ago, I think, and um, I was driving, it was very foggy, <laughs> and let me tell you, I do not like roller coasters. I do not dr like driving on a high mountaintop, excuse me, when there's no um, guardrail on the side, and when you can look over the side and go, oh great, I can fall down 17 million miles. I'm exaggerating, of course, but I'm a drama queen. Um, so one of the things about driving up there is it was very, very foggy. I was new to the area. I didn't know where I was going. And you literally could not even see a car length ahead of you, okay? So I'm driving up this mountain, going around these turns. It's foggy. I can barely see. And then when there would be a peek through of like, oh, the fog isn't here, <laughs> all of a sudden, you'd see that you're like two inches away from falling way down a cliff. It was rather terrifying. Um, but then once I got around and, and got to the part where I was driving down into the valley, oh my God. Literally, there were so many times driving down into Lake Tahoe that I just, I wanted to stop my car and I couldn't because obviously there's people behind me that would have killed me or I might have killed them. I just kept wanting to stop my car and taking, a, you know, take a picture of everything. It was absolutely the most breathtaking view I've seen in all of my years of traveling is Lake Tahoe. And then um, I'm sure there's plenty of resorts. There's like a lot of different resorts, vacation getaways out there. We were at the Hyatt. So the Hyatt's on this like this corner. Um, and then it's, it's, it's almost weird. I think what they have there is they have like timeshare Hyatt and then they have the Hyatt Hotel. And then like, so the Hyatt's on this corner, right? And they have this big, you know, big hotel and area, and it's just everywhere you look, there's mountains, beautiful big trees, trails, houses that literally, I'm not somebody that covets what I don't have, but when I'm in Lake Tahoe, I covet. I covet a lot. Like literally, I wanted to take and make a flyer of myself and pass it out and say, please adopt me, I will clean your house if you, if you just let me live here, please. Um, I'll be your girlfriend, I would like to marry you if you're available, I just want to live in this house. Like, I can't lie, I'm just putting that out there, being human. So they have this hotel and then across the street from the hotel, they have the lodge. Now I don't know if that's like separate, I, I think that's, yeah, it's all the Hyatt. It's just, <clears throat> even the lodge, you go in the lodge and it's just beautiful. If you look on my Pinterest board, I actually have a Pinterest board and I have pictures of this. 
like this lodge with this huge open window that looks over the lake and it's just a really rustic view. I mean, it's absolutely amazing. So you can tell that when I have this cup that I got in the gift store at the Hyatt, see my memories are like, oh, I can't wait to be in Tahoe again. Like, I'm not lying to you. If you were to ask me, if I had all the money in the world right now, what would I do differently? Um, or, or what would I, I don't want a huge house, I don't want 17 cars, I don't want a lot of blank, well, some blank. Fine with that. Um, yes, I'd probably buy some more shoes and a few more clothes. I would want to have a place in Lake Tahoe. Doesn't have to be a big place, doesn't have to be one of those places that, you know, some people I know, not mentioning any names, people in my family, um, like to, you know, look how much money I make. Oh, that rug, it's only $50,000. It was on sale at Nordstrom. Anyway, I'm not that type of a person that needs to impress people with how much I spend, how much I make, the things that I have. That's not about, I, it, it could be a shack, not a shack, maybe a shack with bathroom, running water, and, you know, room for a bed so I can sleep. It doesn't have to be a big place. I just want to be in Lake Tahoe. It's so freaking beautiful. In fact, they have a running trail that goes up and down. It's just, I've rambled on for almost 12 minutes about this. I love that area. It's absolutely beautiful. It actually was the one area that knocked Park City, Utah down to number two. Park City, Utah has always been my favorite. And that is another beautiful area. I mean, you just, you're out there in the mountains and you look around and it's like, I had this conversation with somebody Sorry, I have a call in 15 minutes. Earlier this week, and we were taught, or sorry, it's Tuesday, so it was actually last week. That's how my days blend together. Um, we were talking about, you know, if you live in these beautiful places, do you really appreciate it, or do you only appreciate it when you don't live in these places? I know when I lived in Florida, I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go to the beach every single day. I never went to the beach. How can you live in Pensacola, Florida and never go to the beach? I guess it also doesn't hurt if you've gained so much weight from partying and eating at Country Buffet that your bathing suit isn't quite looking the way you want it to. That's another way you don't go to the beach when you live in a beach town. Okay, so back to two things that I have not talked about yet. Um, I told you guys that Palm Beach Athletic Wear, can you see that? I'm not gonna give you this discount code because they're making up a, uh, a special one for us that I think will be more, but I will put the discount code up on my post. So uh, at Fitfluential, I ended up chatting with these um, fine folks at Palm Beach Athletic Wear, which is obviously retail establishment based in Palm Beach, Florida, but you can buy all of their clothes online. Now, they are not, if I'm, I hope I'm saying this correctly, they're not like, they don't make their own clothing lines, they sell others, um, so you've got all different kinds of brands there, um, and they sent me these, um, <clears throat> they let me pick out some clothes, so again, I did not pay for these clothes, um, but they, sorry, <laughs> I thought I got a stain on it already. Um, so anyway, I'm just gonna give you like a quick little preview, but I have to tell you, and ask Carla at Misfit Online, she is in love with her clothes. Like she actually texted me and left me a voicemail and was like, Kelly, I love Palm Beach athletic wear so much. I love these clothes, I love these cargo pants, I love everything, I love you, blah, blah, blah. Of course she loves me. Anyway, so here's this cute little, um, this is what I picked out and what they sent me. Very light and, um, now I don't know if all of the stuff is this way, um, but this is what I would consider like a, ooh, how did I make that so dark all of a sudden? Um, like a light, springy, summery fabric, okay? So this is a jacket. I don't know, I need to put this on. Actually, I'll put it on so you can see. So I'm wearing their top, this is the tank top. Nothing really that exciting. I shouldn't say that, I didn't mean that. I just meant it's a tank top. Um, so this is the top. Now here's what I want to tell you guys. This top is, if I'm correct, one size. 
So here's what I will tell you about their clothing, my observation. Yeah, see it says one size. Um, it is my observation. Now, I'm a curvy girl. I'm also somebody that has muscle, okay? My observation is, why do I feel like this is getting dark all of a sudden? I think when I move my hand towards the camera, it makes it dark. My observation is these run small. Um, for example, you guys know that in my Reebok clothes, um, <clears throat> I'm going down a size. Um, so now I'm trying to think. In my Reebok stuff, I'm wearing a small in my tops and a medium in my bottoms. This is a one size fits all. As you can see, I will wear this, but you know, it's fitting me quite snug. I zip it now <laughs> with these girls. Um, I can still zip it over, but as you can see, it's very snug. Um, I'm only saying that not because I'm saying that it's bad. This is a really nice stretchy fabric. It breathes very nice. I'm just giving you an idea so when you order. Um, if you're a curvy girl, you might want to go with their medium slash large. Like a lot of their stuff comes in um, extra small, small, or medium large. So order accordingly. Cute little hood. But anyway, this is a really nice, um, what I would wear if I was in a hotter climate, you know, after, after a yoga workout, whatever. Um, so this is a little jacket. <clears throat> Can I call you right back? I'm shooting my video. I will. Okay, bye. And then there's these cargo pants, which are adorable. See, I don't know if I'm going to be able to really show you. See the cargo? And I'll, I'll put the links up but elastic waistband. Now here's what I'm gonna tell you. I did try these on. These are a medium slash large. Um, according to the size chart, that should be my size. Now these fit, um, I will tell you this, like me and my sister have totally different bodies. She is, I'm very, like if you look at, <laughs> I always use the Kardashians to explain the difference. I'm Kim, she is Courtney. She's lean, smaller butt. Um, has kind of like that lean runner's body look. Um, I'm curvy, I'm always curvy. So things are always gonna fit me differently. And again, I'm fine with that. I'm not trying to get a different body. Like I embrace the booty. Um, these fit, um, they do sit low on the hips. Um, so for me right now, because the area that I'm still trying to lose the most weight in is right above um, where this waistline hits. So it's it's low, it's low. It's, I'd say two inches below the belly button. You know, I'll probably wait a little bit before I wear these, but they're adorable. And they're long, which is nice, because then you can wear, you know, like your clunky boots or your clogs underneath it. So really nice fabric, thin, cute, tons of pockets. I hate it when they make cargo pants for girls that have one pocket and they're like, oh, it's cargo pant. No, you just added one pocket. Cargo pants are supposed to have pockets all over. They also, this is what I'm excited about. I haven't had a yoga bag. Manduka yoga bag. So happy about this. Top quality. They have a lot of Manduka stuff. So I'm very excited about this. And then also, cute top. Can you see? Now, a lot of their tops, here's the only, another observation. These are shorter tops. Okay? So when you order these, just know, I've noticed that a lot more tops are coming out and sometimes they make them too long. Um, I would say this is going to come right to the waist. But great colors. Um, and I love the back. Um, so this one, a lot of their tops I think are going to come like right to the waist. They're not going to be the long tops that come down to your butt. So overall, um, we've heard great feedback. I'll let you guys know the discount code. Um, enjoy it. I think they, I mean, they have really just a great attitude towards their customers. They're really looking to um, make the customer happy. I won't partner with anybody at Fit Lunch that doesn't have a good attitude towards customers. You know, that's just freaking key. Mr. Flow. Ooh, sorry. Really feeling the workout from yesterday. I'm almost at 20 minutes. I've got a call in five. So I'm going to go. Um, I'll shoot another vlog later today if I can. Talking to you guys about, you've had all these questions about how it's going with me with paleo and my workouts and such. But here I've given you 20 minutes of really a whole lot of nothing. So you enjoy that on a Tuesday. I'll be back later.